So being American, we aren't really raised in a culture that fosters patience. We're, we're not very patient as a people, I would say. Uh, a lot of times I notice that myself. Instant gratification is highly encouraged here. You get money, you should spend it quick. Uh, anything you want, you just go get it. If you can't afford it, you swipe it on a credit card. You get what you want, when you want, as you want it. And there's a lot of downsides to that. There can be a lot of fun with that, but uh, it's not the best for planning it for the future or uh, taking care of yourself in the most wise of ways, let's put it that way. So a lot of times we forget that you need to be patient for everything. <laughs> when you set a goal, when you're working towards something, when you're saving up for a purchase, when, whatever it is, things tend to take a lot more time than you originally um, planned for them to, <laughs> if I can phrase it that way. Uh, so I wanted to paint a picture for you so that uh, you can remind yourself that patience is a virtue. <laughs> patience is very necessary when you're chasing your goals. So check this out. Your body stores energy in the form of glycogen, right? Think of it as carbs or calories. And your muscles and your liver store up this glycogen as you eat, essentially. So if you go without eating for a time, it immediately goes to those stores of glycogen to give you energy, right? Your body will store between 1,500 and 2,500 calories worth of glycogen. Great, that's basically a day's worth of calories, okay? So say you're trying to lose fat and you're gonna go down the fasting route to lose this fat. I'm gonna fast, I'm gonna lose weight by not eating. Okay, great, that's great. You can do it in intervals of time, you can do extended fasts, that's, that's wonderful. Um, but think about that glycogen store. If you went roughly 24 hours without eating, you're probably gonna burn off the 1,500 to 2,500 calories worth of glycogen in your system. Great. So that means on day two of fasting, that's when your body is tapping into those fat stores. But yeah, it'll eat fat along the way of that first day. Sure, sure. But just doing a calories in, calories out kind of assumption here, just a, a broad generalization, day two is when the most fat burning is gonna happen in that two day cycle. Fair enough. That's where the most of your progress is gonna happen. You are going to burn the most fat on day two. That's where the most of your progress is gonna happen. And in a 48 hour fasting cycle, that's where the most of your progress is gonna happen. On day two, fair enough. Okay, so say on the first day, you burnt 3000 calories. You did a lot of walking, you were really active. Great, that's awesome. You have burnt through the glycogen for sure. On the second day, you burn another 3000 calories. Awesome, you just lost basically a pound of fat. Because on paper, they'll tell you that a pound of fat is 3,500 calories, but that's measuring it versus um, uh, liquid oil, right? And so is a fat cell purely liquid oil? No, I mean, there's water in there. The structure of the cell itself, the fat cell, it has to be broken down. I mean, it's probably not a full 3,500 calories. It's a good rule of thumb. But if you burnt 3,000 calories and you say you burned a pound of fat that day, I mean, take it as you will. So that second day you burn a pound of fat, great. If you have 20 pounds of fat to lose, you need to do that 20 times, right? That's 20 48 hour fasts. And after that 48 hour fast, on the third day, you probably wanna do a refeed. You know, get a little more active, put some more food in your system, but now it's started all over. Day one, burning through the glycogen. Day two, burning through the fat. Day three, refeeding. So you need 20. 48 hour fast with a one day refeed. Three days, 20 times. That's 60 days. To lose your 20 pounds of fat with this super fast cheat code of fasting, right? To lose the 20 pounds, you're gonna have to spend two months doing that. And many people would consider a 48 hour rolling fast cycle, many people would consider that a very aggressive fasting, a very aggressive fat loss. So, <laughs> Not only on your refeeds do you have to really mind what you're eating. You can't overeat. You have to plan what you're eating specifically. You have to be very disciplined on those refeed days. But then you have to go through two days of lots of discipline, lots of willpower to not eat, just to reach your goal for two months, okay? 
that is so much more strenuous, so much slower than you're thinking it'll happen. And maybe it goes faster than that. Maybe it takes longer. Maybe you're not as disciplined during it, whatever. It's a lot longer than you think it'll be. You can go get a surgery, get all the fat sucked out of your body. Oh my gosh, it happened in one day. And then you have to recover. True. Not everyone can afford that. Not everyone wants to do that. You could do it slower. You know, count your calories, increase your activity. There's plenty of content here on YouTube how to do it. It could take six months to lose the 20 pounds. Great. It'll probably be easier on your on your mental mental state. <laughs> take a lot less willpower. It might take more willpower because every day you're eating, you gotta track what you're eating every day. Who knows? I don't know you, I don't know what works best for you. The point is that when you're trying to lose these 20 pounds, it might take a lot longer than you're initially thinking it will. It all leads back to that patience thing where here we're not very good at patience. Everything you try to do takes way longer than you think it will. I'll just fast for like a week. I'll shed the 10 pounds, maybe. Or maybe after a week, you've only lost two pounds and you're tacking on a lot of water weight and you're feeling really discouraged and, and then you go eat cake. Like, who knows? Who knows? Whatever it is that you're going through, remember, you're gonna need patience. You're gonna need a lot of patience to get to where you wanna be to acquire the thing or become the person or accomplish the goal, whatever it is, it's going to take a while. And you have to prepare yourself to go through those trials, to get through the, the moments of discipline, to keep the willpower strong, to keep focused on that goal. Just don't forget that. Don't forget it. There's lots of different methods to stay on track. There's lots of ways to keep yourself focused and driven. But don't forget that it's it's not gonna be today. It might not be tomorrow. It might not be for two months. Why am I bringing this up? Because it gets frustrating. It gets frustrating waiting. I'm here in this culture where I get everything immediately. Instant gratification is king. I want it now. Cool. So you're not used to waiting. But if you can remind yourself as you go through the process, this is gonna take time. Whatever the thing is, it's going to take time. And that can bring a sense of calm to you. You can let go of that frustration that you don't have the thing, you aren't the person, you haven't accomplished the goal. Let go of that expectation that it has to be done today. It will get done as you make those little incremental steps forward. Just a, just a little bit at a time. You'll get there. Believe in yourself. Take those steps every day. It'll happen. And remind yourself that patience is a virtue. <laughs> patience is its worth practicing. And it's the only way you're going to get there because, I mean, <laughs> oh my Lord, it's going to take so much longer than you think. Take care of yourself out there. God bless. That's where the most of your progress is going to happen. On day two, Fair enough.